it isn't until you become famous that you realize how superficial it is mm -hmm. and how it's not a goal, it's a byproduct. You know, it's not something, it's about the work. It's about loving your work and loving what you do. And um, I can't stress that enough um, about fame. And that's what the first song on my album is about. So. Is that dr and the drowning? Drowned world. Drowned world, yeah. yeah. Or Substitute for Love, which fame can be. That's, you know, the other title of the song. What do you think is the difference between, let's say, uh, two years ago, what you would want to be known for and what you want to be known for now? That what you want your life, your work, your voice to say? I think that two years ago, I wasn't really sure why, why what I was on this earth for. I think I was mostly concerned with getting things for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, more clothes, more money, more the other title of the song. What do you think is the difference between, let's say, uh, two years ago, what you would want to be known for and what you want to be known for now? That what you want your life, your work, your voice to say? I think that two years ago, I wasn't really sure why, why what I was on this earth for. I think I was mostly concerned with getting things for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, more clothes, more money, more popularity, more approval, um, more boyfriends, more every, you know, I was just like, <laughs> no, I mean, it was, I, I wasn't really thinking, I was just doing. Mm -hmm. um, so not living consciously, really. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think I probably had some conscious moments. I right. don't think I was like brain dead. No, I think I just kind of woke up and said, okay, what am I on this earth for? Why are we all on this earth for? We're here to love. We're here to share. That's it.